everybody. Uh, I'm going to open with a word of prayer. We've got a, a few words, and then we'll, we'll get into the program. So, Lord, we thank you for the opportunity we have to get together in person, indoors, uh, once again. Uh, we thank you for bringing this group of people together in our school. We thank you for our school. We thank you for your faithfulness to us through the years. Uh, we pray for your blessing on the lives of these young people behind me as they go somewhere new. Um, we invite your presence here with us tonight. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, first I'd like to thank the Drakes again for opening up their facility to us. This is the second year we've been here. Uh, it's the first time we've been inside. Last year we were outside doing a drive-in theater kind of thing. Uh, this year we're inside, and I think it's a great place for us to be, and I thank them for that. Uh, I also want to thank all the video type people that are doing their thing, some Facebook, some Instagram, some YouTube later, for people who are watching this from other places or watching it later. Uh, uh, just thank them for doing that to create that opportunity. Uh, it's been a crazy 15 months uh, in so many different ways. Um, but we all have a lot of things for which we can be thankful. Uh, and one of them is for this group of young people, for this opportunity we have tonight to come together and celebrate them. Um, one thing I've been reflecting on just over the last year that I, I shared with them on their last day is just the importance of attitudes. It's so easy through so much of stuff over the last 15 months to really get negative, uh, to really to see the negative, because it's not hard to find negative. Uh, and, and a lot of the news outlets don't uh, mind highlighting the negative some of the time. But if you can get your attitude focused on things that are internal, and if you can get your attitude focused on things that are positive, then it's much easier to get productive, fruitful, member of society uh, and that's hard sometimes to do that but i just i've been contemplating that um, for us as a school this is our 42nd year complete uh, this will be our 37th class that we graduate and after 37 classes we're only up to 509 total on that so we have uh plum high school right up the street having our uh, having their graduation tonight they probably do more than 509 tonight in one stop they have 37 classes, so I've got 509 people. Um, but it is what it is. We just sort of do what God's called us to do. And we've got our, our funded little school. We, we do what we can with the people God brings us. Um, if you do have any alumni here with us today, people who are former graduates of the school, uh, if they could please stand up. We usually take a moment to recognize a lot of the in the back. Every student has their own personality, and I think you're going to get a little bit of a glimpse of that. Every class is different. I think our school is different. I think this graduation is going to be a little different. Uh, if you've been to some of our graduations before, I think this will seem familiar to you. Uh, if you've never been to one of ours, I think this is going to seem like a very different kind of graduation. I think you're going to find it a lot more um, personal, and the most of them are going to be. Uh, I'll be up here for a little bit talking a little bit more, but there's no, there's no speaker tonight. Usually you go to graduation and there's somebody that just bores your ears off for 30 minutes. Uh, you know, I, I might bore your ears off for this first 10 or 15, uh, but the speakers are that. You know, it, it's not that. It's not about inviting some person in here to give you a speech that nobody knows who they are where they came from. It's not that. We're going to try to highlight them in a lot of different ways tonight. Um, one thing I always like to say, congratulations to the, the parents and extended family, thank you for trusting us with your children. That, that's not something we take lightly. Uh, we appreciate that. We appreciate you. Um, I hope we've done our part to honor that trust. Um, we thank you for your sacrifices to send them here, because it's not free. Um, in a lot of ways, it takes sacrifices to do this, and we thank you for that. Uh, we thank you for your help through the years. We have a variety of families who have been involved in a variety of ways, whether you're driving the games, or running concession stands, or helping to coach teams, or helping with camps and clinics, or buying prize day things for classes, or elementary schools, uh, running events. You know, there's a lot of people who've gotten involved in, in a lot of ways uh, with their time, or with their energy, or with their money, or with their prayers. Uh, and we appreciate you guys in, in all the different ways you've gotten involved. 
about half of the class in some way. These families live along with us with younger siblings in the future years. For about half, it, it's the farewell to you uh, from the CCA family. Uh, so for those, that this is the end of the line. It seems like an appropriate time to say goodbye to some of those families that this is the end of the line. Uh, I want to let everybody know we've done our best to love them. Uh, we've done our best to give them a safe place. We've done our best to give them somewhere where they can lay a foundation in Christ uh, for their lives. And now it's time for them to go. And it's time for them to go and build something on the foundation that, that has been built through these years. Um, hopefully they can find some new people and places and things and relationships that can continue to help them grow in that relationship with God. Uh, we'll remember them in prayer. I hope you guys remember us in prayer as well as so we keep our hand on the clock and keep working. Um, I think we all have a greater realization than ever. You have really no idea what the future holds. Um, but I think we also hopefully all realize God has a plan for every one of us. Uh, for them, for me, for you. Uh, none of this has surprised God. Uh, he saw us. Um, to close my part of this, I'd just like to express to you all the most important idea that we've tried to share with them through the years, which is the idea of salvation. Uh, that there is a perfect God out there who created the heaven, and the earth, and me, and you, and them. Uh, he has a plan for us. He wants us to know and love and serve Him with all of our heart and soul and mind and strength. Uh, from Scripture, that's the greatest command that Jesus instructs us. With number two being, love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, and if we as a world, if we as a Christian community could do those things better, everybody would be a lot better off. If we could love and honor and obey God and love others as ourselves. Uh, unfortunately, ultimately, we all sin. We all separate ourselves from God. Uh, but he says Jesus is a path back to salvation. Uh, and we just need to respond to that. Uh, God wants to be our perfect Father. He wants to protect us, teach us, discipline us. He wants to be a relationship we can rely on with times and bad, because they're both coming. Uh, he gives us gifts. He's giving you guys gifts. Uh, he expects us all to develop those and use those in some way to please him and help other people. Um, there is also an enemy out there that wishes to rob and kill and steal and destroy. But God calls us, he wants us to have life and have it abundantly. Uh, and he wants us to know the kind of satisfaction we can find if we live a life of obedience to God. Because obeying God ultimately leads us to good places in eternal life. Uh, and trying to do things our way is never going to work out. And it's going to head us to destruction in a variety of ways. Um, I'll close this part with the scripture from Ecclesiastes 12 13, which tells us, Fear God and keep his commandments. Uh, that's the whole duty of man. So I, I, I call that to you guys. Fear God and keep his commandments. Obey him and you'll be fine. Um, but that's the welcome part of the program. Grab my cheat sheet. Next up, we have some academic awards to talk about for some people. Uh, so, in past years, sometimes we've got the younger generations here join us. I distributed those yesterday in person in school. Um, but I have, for this year, a couple things. Uh, we have uh, Honor roll certificates that are based strictly on this year's performance. Uh, there's three categories, which are honor roll means someone had a B average or better this year only. Uh, there's high honor roll, which means there's more A's than B's on the average for this year. And then sometimes there's people with 4.0's, which means they have straight A's every grade year you ever work hard to build on to you. It was all A's every time. Um, so I have those. I also have uh, an award called the President's Education Award. Uh, the President's Education Award is not based on this year only. It's based on all four years added up. And it's only for those high honor students. Um, 3.5 average or better, meaning more A's and B's over their four years. Just lost something there, but that's all right. I'll find it later. Um, in the program that you have, everybody probably has by now, uh, you'll see some stars next to people saying, those are about the four-year totals. So there, we have some honor graduates that have one star by their name. That's four years worth of work, making a uh, grand total of averaging all four years out, making the honor roll. The two-star people are the high honor graduates. Those are the people we're talking about for the presidential award. 
I'll read the names and we'll bring those guys up. Uh, now I'll just bring them to you. So we have Cassius Clay for this year, made a honorable. Uh, Adriana uh, Deverage made high honorable this year and receives the President's Education Award for the four year coverage. Desiree Hamilton, high honor roll this year, and also a president of the <laughs> Joshua Harris, high honor roll this year. <laughs> Lydia Hetrick, high honor roll this year. Daniel Kissel, high honor roll this year, and the President's Education Award for the four year coach. Zachary Kozar, high honor roll this year, and the President's Education Award for the four year coach. Alyssa Phillips, high honor roll 4.0 this year, and the President's Education Award for the total. Jesse Gravancy, honor roll for this year. Angelina Rossalova, honor roll for this year. Louis Sigmatsik, the fourth, honor roll for this year. presentation, actually two to make, but this seems like the best time to plug that in. Uh, so uh, many years ago there was a family named the Aiken family that some people out here know and some don't. Uh, there were six brothers that were very good friends of mine growing up. Uh, they were also very good friends of the school. They went to our school and although none of them graduated from our school in the end, uh, they've all maintained a friendship and a fondness for our school through the years. Uh, one of those brothers, the second youngest brother, Joshua D. Aiken, uh, passed away at a young age after some car accident problems, some struggles with diabetes, a variety of things. Um, he had passed a few, few years ago but at, at an untimely age. Uh, and the brothers got together and decided they wanted to make a scholarship in his honor um, for our seniors. Uh, they, they've done this uh, probably five or six years in a row. I think this has been going on. Last year, COVID sidetracked us, uh, and this year they got in touch with me and said, we want to make it up to last year's room uh, and do it again for this year's room. Uh, so the way they've always done this is they've had, uh, they've invited students with a certain grade point average to write an essay about perseverance because their brother had struggled through some difficult things. They felt like perseverance is one of the memories they had of him. So they asked the seniors to write an essay. Uh, an essay about perseverance and the, the brothers get together, they judge those essays and they pick the one that sort of resonates the most with them. Um, so for last year's class, and I don't know if she made it tonight or not, I, I had extended an invitation, but if not, we'll get a family member to come up here. Uh, for last year's class, they selected Alexis Blazevich's essay. Which we got here. So we don't have Lexi, we'll give this to a family member. Have Lexi watch it later or something, and then nobody tell her she won an award, and we'll surprise her having her check. Yeah. Uh, for this year's class, they selected Alyssa Phillips. That's right. Uh, and now it's all about that. Uh, and I'll slide out of the way. So this year we'll have two salutatorians come up and give addresses. Uh, the first one of which will be Daniel. Uh, so about two years ago, my school closed. Um, one that I went to since I was a little kid. Um, and I was kind of in a scramble. I it first started in cyber school and that was not the right fit for me. And my mom started working at the school with Chester Christian and she was like, Danielle, hey, no, why don't you just try it out? Why don't you just shadow for a day? Um, <laughs> and I did not know what was in store for me. 
Um, I didn't know that I would have some of the best teachers that would help me excel academically, like Ms. Co, who I invited here tonight, who I love very dearly, and her daughter Noelle, who is one of my favorite people. Um, this is W, um, who was my gym teacher for one year, who I love dearly. Um, Ms. Kostek, who reached out to me and always made sure that I was doing okay, along with her friend Star. Mr. Connor, who taught me endless life lessons, do not cry and cry. Don't want to do that. Um, or Miss Willis, who reached out to me in so many ways. I love her so much. Miss Rosio, who is the best math teacher I think has ever existed in the history of eternity. Truly. Um, and I, I met some of my wonderful friends. Uh, Alyssa, who's the valedictorian. I love her dearly. Um, Jocelyn Harbison, one of my one of my favorite people. She's the most loyal person I've ever met. Cole, who even though we don't talk that much in school, I consider one of my best friends. And two people that I, I brought with me from Virtual Case, Avery Debraj and Lydia Hedrick. I love you both so much and you guys kept me sane through the lows of this year. I even, some of the juniors, just I love you guys so much. Um, Emily, I don't know how I'm going to go on next year without you. I truly don't. Brain is not here and neither is Cheyenne, but they reached out to me too, and I love them both. Um, this class of seniors is very close knit, and I'm very happy about it. And I, I, I want to, I want to read a scripture. Um, Jeremiah 29:10. It says, "For I know the plans I have for you," declares the Lord, "plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future." And I know that every single person in my class is going to have such an amazing future. Um, at my old school, a senior gave a speech, and this was like six years ago, but um, the ending part really stuck with me. Don't cry because it's over, smile because it hasn't happened. Thank you. Our other student is Zach Kozel. Knowledge is knowing that tomato is a fruit, but 
wisdom is knowing not to put a tomato in the fruit salad. Fellow graduates, as we move on from high school, I pray that God gives us the wisdom and guidance to do great things. Even if life gives us lemons, we'll make lemonade to drink with our tomato less salad. Lastly, thank you for your guidance and friendship throughout the years, and I hope that we as future Cheswick alumni will have a positive impact on the world as so many other alumni already have. Thank you for listening and God bless you. Our valedictorian this year is Alyssa Phillips. Hi. Um, this has been a long year, so I guess what I learned throughout the years, what I just want to leave everyone with is that not sometimes life doesn't turn out the way that we want it to or the way that we plan for it to, or hope for it to, but God is always going to be with us, and He's always going to guide us. And I heard the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego recently, and when they would not bow to a false god, and they were about to get thrown in the furnace, one of the things that they said was, the God that I serve is able to save me, but even if He doesn't, we're still not going to bow. And so I just feel like there's a lot of times in our lives when things go crazy like with COVID and our plans just seem like they don't go the way that we want them to but in those moments where we know that God can take all of our pain away even if he doesn't that doesn't mean that he doesn't have a plan for us so I just want everyone to know that God has a plan for you and I just pray that we all trust in God's plan for us wherever we go do something that I don't think you'll see happen very many places. We're going to have a video presentation that will show the seniors through the years some pictures. Um, Bob Davis was the original dad that came up with this idea, I'm going to say like 2002-ish, it was before I was up here with me. Uh, I've been up here since 2005, so that, that's longer than I've been out here. Uh, but once he did it, it became sort of like an expectation. Uh, last year we were outside, so we had to take a pass on this. I think there was a video, we just included it in the YouTube link, and we couldn't show the video outside. Uh, but this year, my daughter, for the second year, uh, we put this together based on pictures that people fed her, so whatever pictures she got, she fed them all together in the video, and uh, that's what we're going to have up next. So, see you guys, I'm going to try to turn yourself a little bit and watch what's behind you, I guess.
Cassius Musashi Clay. I'd like to say I'm, 
I like to thank my Aunt Kimmy, but she couldn't be here today because she passed away. Thank you. Joshua Dwayne Harris. Five years. 
except for Algebra 1. I'm not going to talk about Algebra 1, that was not a good experience. This was not my teacher. <laughs> Mr. Connor is not here, I don't think. He's loud. Um, Mrs. Rosio, she's here. She taught me French for three years, lit class for a couple of years. Um, and speech class. That was very helpful. Um, Ms. Cow, and Ms. Kissel, who filled Ms. Cow's shoes after she left us. Um, Mr. B, I'm in. <laughs> Be my Bible teacher for a couple of years. Toward me, if you're coaching. Mrs. B, she's also my Bible teacher at one point. In seventh um, Mrs. Russell, for all she's done for the school, especially this year. Where's she at? Um, I don't know if Star's here or not, but she does a lot for our school as well. I don't see her. There you are. She didn't recognize me today. I came to school and I'm like. That wasn't me, it was Patty. Oh. <laughs> right. Um. Is Mr. Vargo here? Mr. Vargo was a basketball coach for many years. Um, Mr. Bear, over here, help me. Football. Um, Mr. Wells was there for seventh grade year. Mr. Malloy was also basketball coach way back when. We're not going to talk about that basketball team either. Mr. Drake, for having his, letting us use his church and being my number one fan always. And then Mrs. Thomas, who's not here, I don't think, but she does a lot for our school. Anyways. Um, Mr. Lemons, you all. Especially Cole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. We have Cole. And two minutes. <laughs> and then lastly, I'd like to thank God for letting us be here today. Without him, this is all be fun. Thank you. Over the years, and then 
the biggest thank you goes to all my family. Mama Barbara, I just thank you so much for welcoming me into your family and for just being the best godmother that I could ask for. And just thank you for giving me a second home. I love you. Mr. Barbara, the same applies. And Jude, thank you for always making me laugh and for giving me a much needed vacation this year. I will never be able to repay for that one. I want to thank Jerry for being my best friend and for always being there for me and just making my world a better place. And I'd also like to thank Bree. Thank you for just being the biggest role model in my life. I thank you for always being there for me and I will always look up to you. I want to thank my brothers. Thank you guys so much for everything that you've done. You guys have kept me grounded throughout my entire high school. Nick, being in class with you always made me feel safe because I knew that I always had someone that loved me there. And Aiden, you always put a smile on my face. You have the biggest heart of anyone I've ever known in my entire life. And I thank you for always being there. And Josh, you have, you were such a source of joy and laughter and love for the world and for me. I just want to thank you for that. Mom and Dad, thank you. Thank you for everything that you do, Dad. Thank you for always being there and for protecting me. Always making me feel safe. Um, you just forgive me. I love you. I know that no matter what happens, if I have a bad day, I can always go back to you and just to hug and melt all my problems away. Mom, gosh, thank you so much for everything that you guys have done for me. I can't imagine not waking up every morning and getting in the car to go to school with you. Um, for always having the door to your classroom open for me. And you guys just give me a home and a place that I will always feel loved. So I just want to thank you so much for everything that you do. Jesse William Bradbansky. Helped me develop as a person and you know as a man as a Christian in my walk with God and to my coaches for helping me learn things there, discipline and you know just how to get things done. Um I also want to thank my classmates. I love all of them and I'm never gonna forget them. It's gonna be sad not seeing them, but I'll get used to it, I guess. <laughs> and uh, I also want to thank my family, my mom and dad, you know, thank you for being there and loving me, just you know, letting me grow as a person. Yeah, love you guys. Thanks. Angelina and Monique Marie Brasolo. Oh. 
Um, yeah. And the Blaze Bitches. And Jackie. I mean, Miss Willis. I mean, yeah, yeah. thank you for everything that you do. I, I forgot something. I, w I was going to do this at graduation, but I completely forgot to you. I started to get into the diploma. Whenever Jesse was speaking, I was going to put in a black pop up on the, on the stage for your presentation. I didn't remember bringing it with me. I thought I'd actually do it. Okay, so. It's not it, it doesn't make sense to anybody except for like eight people that have lived in the one classroom like all year long. But people get that reference to small degree. Um, Cole Nathan Schramowski. Uh, 
I will, after that, present to you the class of 2021. That's the point at which you guys will toss your hats. And then we'll retrieve our hats. And then a couple of the guys are going to help us move a little bit of furniture to create an area here where we can take group pictures. Okay, so, prayer, hats fly, hats retrieve, furniture moves, gather the group, take pictures and bubble up the year will be busy for at least five minutes probably. Uh, but there is no formal like recessional or it just sort of melts down into chaos after we get through with the pictures. So again, we're going to have prayer, presentation as soon as I say class of 121, chuck the hats, retrieve the hats, move furniture, bubble up some time. That's it. And people do what people do with their ears. So Mr. Blazevich, you're up. Father, we just come to you now, <clears throat> Lord, and we just thank you for this wonderful day you gave us. It's so beautiful and lovely outside. Lord, I thank you for this class and all the individuals in it. I thank you for how special they are, how unique they are, that before you founded this earth for the foundations of this world, you knew that they would be standing here at this very moment. You knew the path they would take. You knew every difficulty, <clears throat> every heartache, all the brokenness that they would experience. But you would also know all the joy, all the happiness, and all the lessons that they would learn that are going to create them to be the men and women that they're going to be the rest of their lives. Father, many of them will have to make a choice here very soon. Uh, who that man or woman that they choose to be. I pray that they would just choose to be your man and your woman. That they would choose to follow hard after you. That they would just seek your will for their life. That they would not turn from it. I pray that they would always look to walk with you, to know you, to serve you, to honor you, and glorify you. Father, you exist the moment of their death. From now till then, I pray that there would never be a time when they would ever doubt your love, your compassion, your grace, and your mercy. Father, stick them close to you so that they would not stray. Give them success in your eyes by your definition. Heal all the pains. I pray that you would just endure, help them to endure all that they may face in life. Lord, guide and direct them to get the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding to just accomplish whatever it is that is set before them. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. I now present to you the Jesuit Christian Academy graduating class of 2021. 